Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is Steve and I serve on the chaplaincy team here at Crowhurst Christian Healing Centre. We're sharing a week of Thanksgiving which began on Saturday the 4th of July with our Thanksgiving Day. And each day this week a particular theme will be picked up that we may continue our thanksgiving for the work of God uh, during this past year. In a moment I will read three verses from Scripture and um, I invite you to uh, read them with me. The words will be on the screen. Following that I'll introduce the theme for each day and there will be a particular focus on the work of God in that particular theme. After that, there will be a piece of music called Before the Captain of Hosts, and that will be a time of three minutes for you to give your own thanks um, in your own words as the Spirit leads. Then we'll finish with a blessing. Thank you for joining me, and may the Lord bless this time of thanksgiving. By his presence, and his power, and may we bless him with our grateful hearts. I will praise the name of God with singing. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful works. It is Friday of Thanksgiving week, the final day of our week of Thanksgiving. I was reminded in preparation that when the Lord had, uh, when the Lord God had done all that needed to be done, He rested. And of course, today is uh, the day before the Sabbath. And uh, although our Sabbath is uh, traditionally uh, on Sunday, um, we like to encourage people to take Sabbath uh, experiences every day. So I want. Uh, this morning's theme, to be rest, to be Sabbath rest. Because of the many ways that people encounter God here and experience His touch, experience His healing, experience His love, one of the, one of the most significant ways is the rest that people experience and enjoy. And it is in that rest, in that stillness, in that quietness, that people hear God, that people see God, that people know God. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute and encourage you to be quiet as well. It will be the opportunity for you to continue to, to thank uh, God um, in your own words uh, after this. But I'd like us to be quiet, a Sabbath silence, whereby the Lord can speak to us, whereby the Lord can do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. So, be still and know that I am God.
Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to rest, to enjoy Sabbath silence and allow you to speak to us, allow you to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Thank you for the opportunity that our guests and our staff have to have that experience here. We thank you, Lord, for all that you do, for all that you have done in this past year, and for the way that you will continue to use this place to draw people here, to meet with people here, and to send people from here that the work of God bringing about the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven may continue more and more. Amen. Take time now before the captain of hosts to give thanks to God in your own words as the Spirit leads. Shema Israel, Adonai Elohinu, Adonai Echat. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And you should love your neighbor as yourself. Finally, friends, fix your minds on things that are true, awesome, right, pure, lovely or admirable. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think on these things. The things you have learned, received, heard and seen from God's word, do, 
and the God of peace will surely be with you.